for the towel, I started with 40 chains and this made 12 inches wide towel. And then I went for another 15 and a half, about 16 inches. For the dishcloth, I started with 30 chains. And 30 chains made 9 inches. And then I went for 9 inches. For about 26 rows for the pot holder, I did 20 chains. And then it turned out to be about six inches to six inches. I made two pieces and I saw them on the sides together. So there are no holes and your fingers not burn when you hold your pots. And that made a beautiful set just for the holidays, for any time you need a quick gift to make and give. With this pattern, we have a one row repeat, which means that both sides will be the same. We start with a slip knot, insert your hook through it, tighten your knot and chain an odd number of chains. Once you're done with the chain, so each row will start with a double crochet and will end up with a single crochet. So after we do the foundation and the base, row then we're gonna have the row that we're gonna repeat but for that first base row we will start with a single crochet um, into the third chain from the hook and i'm grabbing the two strand the two strands from the chain and then we're gonna repeat till the end of the row a double crochet and a single crochet into the next chain And then we have again a double crochet into the next chain and a single crochet into the next chain. And we'll be repeating that till the end of the row, a double crochet and a single crochet. And you're gonna have to end with a single crochet. That's a key. Every row will end up with a single crochet. So if you don't end up with a single crochet, you either go back and stop at the single crochet or you just add one more. Or you can always make a longer chain that you need and you just stop at the size you need. A double crochet is formed when we yarn over, go through the base chain, draw a loop, yarn over and pull through the next two loops, and yarn over and pull through the next two loops. A single crochet is when we, we, without the yarn over, we just go through the chain, draw a loop, and you go through those two loops at the same time. And now we are ready for our second row or for the repeat row. Every row will start, so flip your work, turn it around, Chain two, which is actually counts as a double crochet here. So chain two, and then into the next stitch, which was a double crochet from the previous row, we do a single crochet. And then into the next stitch, which actually was the single crochet from the previous row, we do a double crochet. And we keep repeating that till the end. We do a single crochet now on top of the double from the previous row. And then we have a double crochet into the single crochet from the previous row. And at the end, we will end again with a single crochet. So when you reach the end over here, this was your chain that we did. And we're gonna go into that chain space. This way it gives us a little more stretch instead of going into the stitch. And we do a single crochet here. And then we turn our work and we start again with chain two and then a single crochet and then a double crochet and then we go all the way till the end till we reach that first chain two we did and into that we'll do a single crochet again so here i am at that single crochet here the, the one before the last i'll do a double crochet on top of it and now that i reached that chain that we started with which we do count as a double crochet we'll do that single crochet on top of it or inside it and that's the end of the row so this way instead of going into the stitch gives me a little more stretch on the side 
well, that's all for this lemon peel stitch or grillo stitch or seed stitch. They're the same, they're different names for the same stitch. It has a little bumpy effect. If you like that video and it gave you inspiration or an idea for your next project, please like it, subscribe to the channel and watch the next video coming up. Cheers!